guys, Lizzie here, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a while since I've sat down and actually made a video. Uh, so here I am. I'm back, and I'm planning on hopefully doing this a lot more. Um, I'm really sorry about being gone for so long. I just, I don't know. So I thought we would kick things off with a makeup tutorial. So I've changed my makeup style quite a bit since last time. Actually, not really. It's still very natural. I don't like doing a lot of makeup, so. So I'm gonna take my Too Faced Coco Contour, as always. Still in love with this palette. So in my time of absence, we've somehow hit 700 subscribers. And like, I can't thank you guys enough for that, honestly. I'm kind of baffled. I never saw myself getting past like 30. So thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. So I'm just sort of putting some fake bone structure on my face because like I have the roundest face ever. Like I'm 18 and I don't have cheekbones. I've been doing like bolder brows lately too. I don't know why. Like just my face is a lot of brow a little bit of mascara and some highlight and that's been my makeup lately. So I'm gonna take my favorite brow pencil. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow. So I'm just gonna like, I kind of lightly fill them in. So also with my brows, sometimes I will go in the opposite direction to pencil them in like that. I don't know, it's probably wrong. Okay, they're both filled in. The one that I use is the NYX Control Freak brow gel. I, it holds your brows in place for hours. So what I do is I just sort of go above and then under, I guess, instead of making it like one cohesive brow, I sort of try to pull the hairs in different directions. Think the feather brow, but less intense. And when I get to the front of it, I will um, just sort of push it outwards, I guess. Sort of end up with that. It kind of looks sparse, but it's it's okay. It's the look I like right now. So I'm gonna gel the other one now. Same exact way. Only this one is shaped a little different whenever it comes to the front. So whenever I get to the front of this brow, it likes to um, stick out more. I use that to my strengths. It was something that I didn't really like before about this brow, but it's something that I've sort of come to embrace now. Sort of makes my face look uneven, but it's already uneven, so is that to our advantage? Those are my brows. That's a majority of my makeup, so. I'm gonna go in with some of the Maybelline Great Lash. Mine doesn't have any stickers anymore. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of mascara, and I do this kind of messily, and I try to go a little heavier with the bottom lashes. Those are the lashes. Now it's time for some highlight. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Away We Glow. I think this is in like crystal glare. And I just apply this to my cheekbones, tip of my nose, cupid's bow, under my brow, heck yeah. And then we just take our finger and blend that out. Sometimes I put a little too much on, but you know what? It's fine. I highlight kind of lower on my brow bone too, so it makes them look lower. I don't know. That's highlight. I'm gonna get a chapstick. So I'm gonna finish this look off with some, um, some Carmex. So I hate lipstick, honestly. So there we go. And that's the complete look. This is what my face looks like on a daily basis. Kinda looks like nothing, but. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so happy to be back. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna make content. It's gonna be awesome. So yeah, I wanna say I love you guys and I will see you in whatever I happen to put on my channel next.